Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's free, of course, on Queen's Tea TV. For more updates on the latest hot, spicy, beef, period. Thanks and God bless. drag and tarnish and you know what I'm saying just lie and do do all of that I know it don't feel good so that's probably why another story was made to just combat all of that but it's all good I'm all good but trust me don't look at that story and be like huh oh my god huh because all these damn messages and messages from the last time when we fought is in my I mean not fought but almost got into it is in my phone same thing she did tried to fight fight me like once I didn't say anything to her because I was just sitting quiet I was just like well I'm gonna respect this girl because she older than me but me being quiet in the car was her off I'm like damn this bitch gonna throw me out the damn car so I waited till we got to where we was going and I was trying to go in the house her thing is like she just be egging me on so much and just just like she did the night before she slid up on my story still trying to argue with me why can't we just not be friends why can't we just not be friends? Why do we have to just, why do you have to keep talking to me? Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Why do you want to still bother me? Like, we don't have to be, we don't have to do none of that. Just leave me alone. And she don't know how to do that. She always want to argue or finish them sit off. Like, just, just the argument prior to that, I was able to just even calm her down. Because I wasn't paying attention to her texts. So I just was saying what I was saying and I was pressing sin. I wasn't reading it and then responding. I was just saying, you're not going to ruin my night. Da, 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 da. So she ended up feeling good. I said, you just being a brat right now. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all it is. Like, I always do for this girl. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know. I just met this girl, Morgan, and it's not like I'm siding with her over lyric, but it's just like, this girl is sweet. Why would you take your anger out on her? Why would you try? You know, because she not she not built like that. But, you know, she don't try to pretend like that either. But it's just like, why would you take that out on her? Morgan don't bother nobody. This girl damn near ran her over. Why would you do something like that? Then you want to come to the internet. I'm so prissy. Like, y'all stop. Oh, my God. Pretty girl privilege is so real. Fuck, I'm a bulldog with some lashes on. But don't see a pretty face. And just automatically assume, same way you can't just look at my character because I'm so funny and just assume I don't do this and I don't do that. I do a lot. I don't do people wrong if they don't do me wrong. The feeling is mutual, honey. I act and treat people accordingly. If you talk to me crazy, then I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to get psychotic. That's all I'm going to say, but like. I tried to do my best with her. I, I, I tried to build her channel up. I shouted you out. I did all of that. I give you money every now and then. But the moment I just don't hurry to do all of that, it's like, why are you letting me struggle? Why are you okay? Like, I asked you. I asked you. I said, do you, you want to come stay with me? You, you know I'm in Atlanta. You could have you easily came and lived with me. I didn't have a problem with that. She didn't want to leave. She was scared to leave. So I was just like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, bitch, what more do you want me to do? I told you you could, you know what I'm saying, come from Columbus. You could stay with me in Atlanta. I have a nice house. So it's like, I don't know. And I, I'm not obligated to take care of this girl. I'm not. So ain't nobody finna make me feel bad for cutting off somebody toxic that should have stayed cut off. This bitch is the devil.
a pretty little devil. But like I told you, I wish you the best. I'm going to still keep saying that. But you acting out because you embarrassed because that damn boy posted a video. Like, Lyric, you know me, dude. And you not blocked. So actually, after I end this live, um, you can hit my line. Because you, you saw my live or whatever. And my fans was trying to send me your story. But I was like, I'm blocked. So, um, you can call my phone. Or I can call your mom and we can just be on three-way. Um, but you, you, you showing your ass just because. And this ain't how you want to be known. This is not how you get your clout. You already know that's a no-no. You know that's a no-no. And we talked about certain. So it's like, out of anybody... You know we really had a real relationship. Like, don't sit here and get internet on me. Don't do that. Don't do that at all. And even when you were still sitting in the parking lot, I thought you had left and just got on the road. I came out there and I was trying to talk to you. I asked you. I asked you, why are you still here, first of all? Why are you sitting here acting like you don't know what just went down wasn't supposed to happen? Like, why would you tell me? I, I, I just sat, I sat there and I heard you going off. You was calling me bitches. You called Morgan a bitch. You said I'm about to pull up and talk that in my face. I said, damn, bitch, okay. Okay, because I blocked you because I didn't want to argue. Why do we got to sit here and argue, Lyric? You was at my house this whole night. I was going to see you, homegirl. I was coming back to my house. You know my code. You know everything. Like, I didn't gave you as much as I could. I don't know what else to do for you. So it's it's like I took you, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know what more you wanted from me. I don't know. I don't know. And if you was quick to do this over this situation, you know what I'm saying, get that mad because it's like, oh yeah, now I got a voice. Now I can say this. Now I can do that. And I got this to back it up. I got that to back it up. You wasn't real. You wasn't real. Okay? You wasn't real bitch. And that's why I put my hands on you because you wasn't real. But you don't tell me that you want to fight and you don't pull up on me knowing that you just said that and not expect to fight. What you think I'm going to hug you? You just damn near tried to kill this girl and she ain't even had nothing to do with it. I don't know what else to tell y'all, but y'all better don't go for it. People, people are weird. People are liars. You got your clout. You got your followers. Hopefully you get money. I tried to help you. I cannot help you no more. And the way you showed out on me, you can't come back to me. Don't reach out to me. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't come back from that. On God, you can't. And you cannot preach about no loyalty. Because for you to do that, no. No, bitch. Just no. Some people you can't give a second chance. Because it'll get worse. And I should have really fought you the first time when you told me what you told me. And you was like, I said, because when we was arguing, I, I said something. I said, damn, if I don't say nothing, you you constantly at my neck. You keep on talking to me crazy. Like, what, what you want me to do? I'm trying to look out the window. I was like, damn, you want me to cuss you out too? You want me to hit you? She was like, you can. You can. I'm like, oh, my God. I was like, Larry, listen, we just met. We've been friends for a while now. I really get like that. So if that's what you want. That's what we going to do. Long story short, we didn't do that. We kept talking. And we got over it. We ended our video that we made. That was that. And we got, you know what I'm saying? That was that. But I was still kind of, I felt betrayed because I'm like, why would you, why every time we disagree, you want to get feisty with me? And you want to make me feel bad for not doing something. That makes me feel like I can't trust you. You know, you don't have respect for our friendship. If every time we get into it, you want to threaten to fight me or you want to um, make me feel bad about myself for not helping you. You know what I'm saying? Why you struggle. But I'm, I'm not your boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? You just irresponsible. I can't hand you a couple thousand and you go blow it and then be like. If I was if I had a friend that just lost all her money. I would do this. I would do that. Well, you go do it. Because I'm not going to do it.
here today to talk about the Kayla Nicole situation and how it played out, how I feel about it, you know, what's going on through my head. And just, I don't know, just get my side of the story out. Me and Kayla became friends back in 2015. Um, we met over the internet, of course, uh, because she had been going viral around this time for her ponytail tutorial. I had a lot going on, and I always kind of took the role of being there for her. Like, I was always the person that she would vent to, that she would talk to, that she would, you know, just tell about things that was going on in her life. At one point, I had actually quit my job at Hooters. When I quit my job at Hooters, I had another job, but the job was not what I expected it to be. I told, Kayla knew what was going on in my life, but I didn't always complain to her about that. I wanted to be more there for her than I was there for, than I was complaining about my issues. As a celebrity, she had way more, I feel like, things going on, things to talk about. You know, she just had a lot more... I feel like things to be concerned about than I did so she knew what my situation was but I never um, I tried not to complain so much about them I was down bad like I left one job for another job and it just it was not what I expected and it messed me up we were talking every day literally every day every day every day every day FaceTime every day we talk every day all the time anytime she had something to say about me we would talk about her issues you know what I mean but we never really talked about my issues and she was ignoring me like she was interacting with me on my youtube channel like commenting on my videos telling me that i look pretty interacting with me on instagram liking my pictures responding to my instagram stories but she hadn't responded to my text message she was avoiding texting me because of the last message that was in our thread but she was interacting with me on everything else and i just felt like as a friend that somebody that you talk to every day even if the answer is no, or even if whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? You can either say that, you can ignore it, move forward, say something else, you know what I mean? I get the picture. But to just ignore me as a whole, then I'm supposed to, as a whole, and I'm supposed to be your friend, like that was hurtful. And I know that everybody is not the same. Everybody don't have to be the same because everybody works for their own stuff. And everybody works for their own success. So nobody has to give you anything. You know what I mean? But I just, I was Kayla's real friend. And so it would hurt me a lot when I felt like she wasn't returning the same type of friend energy that I was giving her. And that I expressed to her how I felt and we stopped talking after that. We stopped talking after that. We stopped talking for three months. That was the first phase of our close, close, like, sister relationship. Second phase was this phase that ended the way it did. Like, after her argument with um, some other influencers, she had gotten into it with a couple of them. And I was kind of seeing that she was kind of, you know, getting into it with a lot of people. And I was actually blocked for the whole entire three months. So, um, no, I see that I'm unblocked. I missed you. Um, even though you caught me what you caught me on the internet you can't put me on but you can bash me you know what I mean like that's so whack that's mean that's ratchet I don't like stuff like that you know what I mean like be genuine all across the board second phase starts I message her I'm like hey I see on my block I missed you whatever and we started talking about her argument with the influencer that she was getting into my friends back so Y'all can trash me about that too. I was a friend to this girl the whole entire time. And I think that that's the main thing that you guys are forgetting is that I was her friend. Y'all friends, I don't know what kind of friends y'all have because I'm, me and my friends are there for each other no matter what. Anyway, moving forward. Uh, we started back talking. We started exchanging numbers, whatever. Kayla didn't know what I had going on. She didn't know where I worked. She didn't know anything. She didn't know how my situation had changed. She didn't know anything. So, video shoot. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to come, you know, early for your video, video shoot. I left work early in everything, y'all. Like, for her video shoot. So, like, I met her friend that lives with her now. And it, it's just... Everything was cool. So the next day after I was there for a day, I had a video shoot with these other, uh, with this other YouTuber. He has like a song and it, he had like a video shoot and I was a part of the video. I leave for the video shoot and well, when I'm getting dressed, I was late. The video shoot, I was supposed to be there at one. I didn't get Kayla like starts getting ready and she says that she's about to go eat breakfast with this guy. A different guy from the guy that we were with. I don't know. I don't know who he was, but I don't want to throw out any names or anything, but she said she was about to go out to eat with him. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I'm about to go to the shoot anyway, so it don't matter. We can just link up after the fact um, and whatever. We plan to do a YouTube video for my channel. We plan to um, eat some juicy crab. We plan to 
do other things. I'm at the video shoot. This is like hours later, like four o'clock. I call her. Mind you, she left the house at probably like 12 something. At like four o'clock, I call her and I'm like, hey, like, what's up? She was asleep. I'm like, where are you at? She was like, I'm still with so and so. And I'm like, in my head, I'm just like, dang, like she's asleep. You know what I mean? Like, I thought she was just going to eat, but it didn't bother me because I was at the video shoot. So I'm just like, I mean, whatever. So I leave the video shoot and I call her friend that stays with her and I'm like, hey, have you eaten? It's seven o'clock, y'all. And she said no. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm just gonna come there and I can, you know, we can go get us something to eat. Um, she basically texted me, she's like, hey, he said, do y'all wanna come eat over here and hang out over here? I'm gonna get to the top because what God has for me is for me. So with that being said, me and Kayla had already talked about before I even got to Atlanta that we were gonna do a video together. So I'm like, for, for my channel though, to help me because I'm, I'm working hard for my channel. So we had already agreed to that. So I'm like, okay, well, I know I need a video up this week, but I also know I'm going to see Kayla and me and Kayla are gonna do a video. So I'm pretty much putting my whole video, my week, on me and Kayla doing a video. So, you know what I mean? I'm just like, we're gonna hang out together. I'm venting to her and she was like, yeah, I get it. The whole time, I did not know that it was two guys that lived in one house and Kayla was talking to one and the other girl was talking to the other. So really and truly, everything I was saying was kind of like in like void to her because she wanted to go over there anyway to be with whoever. So it's just like, I'm the only person that doesn't want to go, but I'm the person that doesn't live here and came here to hang out with you. And well, y'all, you know what I mean? So that's just kind of like crappy. And I didn't want to be the girl that was just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I was really trying not to be a brat because Kayla always says that I'm a brat. And I, I was trying not to do that. And I was trying to, I called Kayla and I was just like, okay, I feel better. Like, I'm good. I got me a video done and I can come hang out with y'all. So I got me. He basically told her, like, you have to come to the meeting. So we were like, oh my gosh. So we had to put all our food into go boxes and rush, you know, kidnapping and all that. I still was never the type to stay at people's house that I don't know. I, like, especially men. Like, I still, I was never that type. Um, and I'll, I'll third will to a certain extent. I try to avoid arguments with her and I try to avoid disagreements agreements with her because I know that essentially they're going to turn bad, especially if it's something that we don't agree on. My friend Kayla was calling me. I wasn't answering. I called my friend. I was just like, should I be mad right now? You know? And she was like, no, you shouldn't be mad, but you should definitely address it. You know what I mean? That you are alone, but don't be mad. Okay, so... That's when I text Kayla and I was just like, you know, y'all are whacking or leaving me by myself. You know what I mean? Like, for some dudes and it's people get kidnapped out here. And that's when she was like, um, girl, F you, da 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 da, you can die, I don't care. At that point, yes, I am a hothead, my battery is beeping. Yes, I am a hothead, I turned around, I went back. No, I did not know that the first thing we were going to do was throw hands. If I knew that, me, people on the internet are saying, oh no, you're just saying that you're not a fighter because you got beat up. No, I truthfully am not a fighter. I'm 23 years old now. I'm not Kayla's, 23 years old, you know, I'm not Kayla's age. I'm not, I'm 23. I have never gotten into a fight my entire life. So me saying, oh, I'm a pretty girl, I don't fight. That's not because I got beat up. That's not because of none of that. That's because I truthfully do not fight. When I turned around and pulled back up, yes, I said, you know what, tell Kayla to come outside and say it to my face. Yes, I did that. However, me being her friend, I and she calling herself my sister, me calling her my sister, whatever, the sister thing, I personally would have never thought that it would come down to fighting. So, and if I did assume that it would have came down to fight, I would have been more prepared to fight. I came with fluffy slots, a jacket. I didn't have nothing to keep my wig on. I didn't have pepper spray knowing that I don't fight. I didn't have nothing to protect myself because my intentions were, we're gonna go out here, yes, we all talking raw rah at this point, but no hands were gonna be thrown. The first thing I did that happened when I walked outside was I got swung on. So, you know, it just kinda, it was just a messed up situation as a whole. And, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, you don't put your friends with somebody. You don't put your hands with somebody that you considered a friend, that you considered a sister. You don't bash somebody, telling them, "Oh, this person is broke." Whatever, whatever. Somebody that you considered a friend, somebody that you considered a sister. People go through ups and downs all the time. Like I said, and I'll continue to say it. I'm always there for my friends. The feeling that I have in my heart for people that I love and care about is, it just won't allow me to not be there for them. I'm 23 now, and still, you know, because I still am very young. I just turned 23 a month ago, so I'm still learning and I have learned that you literally don't expect. So for everybody that said, oh, she wanted clout, she wanted clout, clout, I'm going to 
address this now. Yes, I wanted Kayla to help me get my channel to a place to where I could support myself and sustain myself. But I never just wanted clout, just, I never wanted this. I never wanted negative stuff associated with my name. This is the first thing that my name has ever been in and it's literally worldwide. Like I never wanted this. This is not what I wanted. So like I said, I just feel like People's lives are important and I just, I don't feel like <clears throat> cyberbullying is the way to go about it. number first. And I know that she's telling everybody differently and I know that y'all are going to believe whatever y'all believe, but Kayla leaked my phone number. After Kayla leaked my phone number, I leaked her phone number. After I leaked her phone number, that's when I was told all the stuff that she was talking about, all the things that she was like doing. And I know that nobody's going to agree with me on this and yes, it was wrong to post her address or um, leak her address. But, you know, at that point, I was just so hurt by the situation. Like, this person put their hands on me and they know I don't fight. They called me their sister. They had me in their homes. They're, they're going in on me. And at that point, I just feel like all, bad, all gloves were off. I can't keep, I can't always be the bigger person. I can't continue to be the bigger person. I can't keep doing that. Yes, it's what I should do. Yes, I believe in God, so it's what I need to do. But this was not the time you know what i mean this was worldwide this was something that i never wanted out 